it's Mermaid Minnow. Those of you who follow me on Instagram already know, but back in January, I celebrated my third year of being a mermaid. So it was my three year anniversary of mermaiding and creating my original Instagram account uh, at Mermaid Minnow. So I kind of wanted to take the chance to talk a little bit about my Mersona Minnow. So for those of you who don't know or might be newer to the mermaid community, Mersona is a persona, so it is a character that you are as a mermaid. So for some people, their Mersona is very similar to who they are as a person. For others, it's kind of this character that they can slip into. Professional mermaids tend to use Mersonas quite a bit when they're describing their mer characters because they are performers. You know, me myself, I'm not a professional mermaid, but I am a mermaid who, you know, is on social media and mermaid minnow on social media is very different than minnow in daily life. So. I wanted to talk a little bit about who Minnow is, where I came up with that name, and what my Mersona truly is, because I haven't. Like I said, back in January of 2018, I got my very first mermaid tail, and that was this pink mermaid tail that I got here from the Two Tails. So when I had this mermaid tail, my name was not Mermaid Minnow. It originally was, and if you scroll back far enough on my Instagram, you'll find this. Some of my videos used to have my name on the bottom corner. Uh, please don't go back and like all my videos and photos though, that's kind of weird. But if you did see that, you would see that my mermaid name used to be Mermaid Bella Enchanted. Now, the reason why I came up with that name originally is because Bella is a nickname that I had growing up. Sometimes some of my family members still call me that as well. And so I thought, okay, I'll respond to that. But also I chose Bella Enchanted because if you know of the book or movie Ella Enchanted, I thought it was a cute little play on words. Now, I know I am not original and that there's many other people out there. I found someone on TikTok called Bella Enchanted, which I highly recommend you look at because they make amazing art of dragons. But anyway, <laughs> that's besides the point. But you know, I just, yeah, I really liked it. But it didn't last long. So come February of 2018, I got my very first tail from Mer Taylor, and that was the green sling tail with the original fantasy fin in it. And I really felt like that tail much better suited me than this one. And that's for a couple of reasons. It wasn't originally because of the green tail. That's something I found out later, but the biggest piece is it suited me better because I happened to find out that I was a lazy mermaid. I really enjoyed swimming slowly for the sake of swimming. Like I never was swimming with a purpose. I was just kind of lazily swimming around, taking my time, enjoying the scenery. That's always how I've enjoyed swimming. So that's when I realized, okay, Minnow is kind of a lazy mermaid. She's the kind of mermaid that lays out on a rock in the sun and suns herself and takes her time getting to where she needs to go. And so that kind of started to develop my persona. I was like, okay, now we're starting to get a personality for this mermaid character or the other mermaid me that I have. So it wasn't until March 4th of 2018 that I actually switched over my name on all social medias. And the name Minnow is kind of an interesting story. So at that time in 2018, the Maze Runner series were coming into movies. And in the movies, there's a character that is pronounced, his name is pronounced in the movies is Minho. Well, in the books, the original author pronounces the name Min Ho. I listened to the books on audiobooks, and so that's how I found that out. And I really, really liked that name. So first off, I was a little upset that the character of Min Ho was pronounced a little differently on the, the movie, but it kind of stuck in my head, and I was kind of thinking about that name. Min Ho, Min Ho, Min Ho, Min No. Oh! Minnow, that's a fish, that could be a good mermaid name. So that's how the name Mermaid Minnow was born. So it's not like I have some really emotional story or relating it to a hobby, no, 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 no. It's literally a character in a book that I was upset that the name was pronounced wrong, said it a lot in my head, and then boom, we got Minnow. <laughs> 
but I know Minnow is not a unique name. So I did not check at the time when I switched all my social media over, but there is two other Minnows. One of them started their social media account before mine, the other one after. So I'm kind of sandwiched in between these two Minnows. So it's not a very unique mermaid name, but that's not a bad thing. And we'll talk about that a little bit more later. Now we know, all right, my mermaid name is Minnow and she's a lazy mermaid, but what is there more to her? Like she can't just be a lazy mermaid, right? And the more I thought about it, I took this and kind of related it to myself. I felt like Minnow was the type of mermaid who originally was kind of quite shy, was kind of reserved. So if in a group of mermaids, she might be kind of hanging out to the back, but soon as she felt comfortable enough, she was her goofy, silly, lovable self. So mermaid Minnow is a goofy mermaid who takes a little bit of time to warm up. And why I chose that is actually because that is very much so how I am as a person. I get really um, anxious around crowds of people and so it really takes me a little bit of time to warm up to people but once I do I am ridiculously goofy so I felt like that was a good comfortable per you know part of myself that I enjoy about myself to bring over to my persona as well so realistically Minnow she's lazy she does things at her own pace she takes time to warm up to people but at heart she's a really goofy kind loving person so that is my mermaid Minnow so where does mermaid Minnow live mermaid Minnow lives in a forest so I grew up in the Pacific Northwest near the coast and uh, in that area there's tons of beautiful evergreens and really just mossy forests and really these alien greens. I just freaking love it. It is my peaceful place. I don't really live close to there anymore but when I want somewhere where I feel at peace it's definitely in the middle of the woods somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. So you know that's kind of her setting but what does what body of water does she live in? Surprisingly for a lazy mermaid, she lives in a river. And why I chose that is because I grew up near the Columbia River. And if you're familiar with the Columbia River, it is a very wide river. It's very, very big. And that river is quite a slow river. Like, yes, there are some places where it does pick up a little speed. If you're in the gorge and over by Hood River, that's where there's really good wind sailing. You know, it's the wind, I think it's the wind sailing capital of the world, but you know, that's a lot more like faster pace. But down towards like the Portland area, it is quite a lazy river, especially out towards the edges where we have the beaches. And that's where I grew up swimming. So I figured that mermaid minnow would live in a river because she would not risk necessarily like to feel like things are stagnant. I really hate personally feeling like things are always the same and with a river I'm gonna go ahead and quote Pocahontas and that the funny thing about rivers is is you never step in the same river twice. The water is always flowing, always changing. So <laughs> and I might have quoted that a tiny bit wrong so I apologize but that is, you know, what I love about rivers is that there are always, there's always new things coming into them. Like, right, I'm, I'm from the Pacific Northwest. Like I said, salmon, salmon spawning, there's always new life and there's always new breath into a river. And so I really felt like, if you can imagine with me, some deep green woods and a river, slow river, kind of ambling through those woods, that's where Minnow is. She's living her best life in that beautiful picturesque area. And when I am swimming, sometimes I will imagine myself in that area because it is very peaceful to me. So, all right, we know her name, we know her personality, we know the area she lives in, but what does Minnow look like? So Minnow's mermaid tail is primarily green. Put an asterisk in that because we'll come back to that but she does enjoy wear, wearing her tail as a green color. How do I explain this? So I have had a, quite a few different mermaid color tails. I've had a, a rainbow colored tail, a black and gold tail, a pink tail, a blue tail, a koi tail, all different types of mermaid tails. And I always find myself drawn to the green tails. And one day, I looked at my mer tender and I said, you know what, I'm a green tail mermaid. Why do I keep picking up different colors of tails? And one of the reasons why I realized that is not only is like green, green is not my favorite color, but green is a calming color to me. But also I have a car that's green. Like what? At the time I had a, a mug that I took to work every day that was green. And I'm like, there's so much green in my life. Why am I not just focusing on the fact that 
middle is green too, you know? So she does have a green tail primarily. But this is where I differ from a lot of MERS and that I feel, and maybe I'm not alone. If I'm not alone, comment down below because I would like to know if there's other MERS that feel this way. But the classic mermaid debate is, are mermaids more mammals or fish-like creatures? Do they lay eggs or do they give live birth? And people kind of go back and forth about that. Are they more like dolphins or are they more like fish? And I have to go out there and say, to me, mermaids are more like reptiles. So I'm gonna throw a wrench in all that, which I guess like you, you could kind of say fish, but I feel it's more scaly uh, in terms of like reptile scales than fish scales. So why I feel that way, I don't know. Um, and like I said, if you feel the same, let me know because I feel like I'm the only mermaid out there who's like, yeah, reptile mermaids. But that's why you find me drawn to different tails like my gator claw. You know, I really, and my, my, my new tail by Courtney Mermaid, my Jurassic Park tail, I modeled it when I first sent her, and I think I talked about this in my unboxing, but when I first sent her some references and, and what I wanted, I said specifically reptiles and dinosaurs. I really, really like that thought for mermaids. And I think part of it might have to be with the fact that fish can't come out of water, whereas there are reptiles that are both in water and on land. They're not amphibians. Mermaids are not amphibians to me. They don't have the smooth, but to some mers they might be. So I come from, minnow comes from a breed of reptilian mermaids. So there you go. So that's why you might find a lot of striping in my tails. I model a lot of my tails off to, after snakes and uh, different types of lizards actually when I'm looking at inspiration for my tails. So why I said that the tail is primarily green is because there are times that I do enjoy wearing other tail colors. So like I did mention I have a rainbow colored tail which I will wear for photo shoots. There is a photo shoot that I did for Pride Month last year. I'll pop a picture in here that you can see me wearing my mandarin gobi tail from Finfolk. Um, then I have a, uh, you know, I just have a whole bunch of tail. I have my pink tail, I have another pink tail, I have all types of different colors. But, you know, and I enjoy wearing those colors at times and I still feel like that's minnow, but what I think when I think of mermaids is mermaids have the ability to kind of choose their mermaid colors. So there are some mers that do have different mersonas for different tail colors. But I really like to think that, you know, based off of a mermaid's diet, they can kind of change their tail color as they please. So, you know, maybe they eat a little bit more of their greens, maybe they eat a little bit more of seafood and they get pink, who knows? <laughs> but you know, that's more to me. So Minnow does have a, a color changing tail, but it's primarily green because I really do like greens. And honestly, the way the greens pick up in waters is just, it does, it does really well. So that's Minnow. Minnow is a fun-loving, lazy, relaxed, reptilian, green tail, mermaid living in the forest in a river. So that's what I think of when I create my Mersona. Here's a fun photo shoot I do have planned in the Olympic National Rainforest with uh, Clever Girl. So keep your eyes peeled for that. That should be coming within the next month. So I do do things with that, but that's kind of where my minnow character comes from. So I do want to give you guys some resources for creating your Mersona. So there is a website called Mer Network that you can go on and it is a form for other merfolk to connect. So there's mermaid, mermen, merm, whatever, merfolk, everybody is on that mermaid form. And on there, you can just search the keyword mersona and you can find quite a different, few different like stories of mersonas, but also like people asking for suggestions on how to develop their own mersonas. I know that Courtney Mermaid also has an episode on her Scales and Tails podcast where she talks about developing her mersona and developing a mersona as well. So there are a couple of different, there's some YouTube videos out there too that you can go ahead and check out. But my suggestion to you is to take your time. Minnow is still in creation. I still am reworking my Mersona as my life changes and as you know things in my life change. So it's been years since this has been going. I realize things and then maybe I might change it at another time and that's all fine, right? Like this is my character. This is my Mersona and it can be whatever the heck I want it to be. Just like yours can be whatever you want it to be. 
The other thing is if you're having a hard time with names, I find that that's a lot of numers really struggle with coming up with the name. You can do a variety of different things. You can go to a mermaid name generator. Like, you know, they have those silly little like, what's your mermaid name? You can type that in and see what you get. You can base it off of things that are important to you. Um, there's location-based mermaid names. So we've talked about the Vancouver name mermaid. There is Ohio's first mermaid, Katie mermaid. You can go with your name, Courtney Mermaid, Katie Mermaid, Mermaid Melissa, etc. <laughs> I don't even know. There's there's a bunch of them. Mermaid Hannah. So there's a lot of you can just go with your regular mermaid name. Um, or you can pick something that, you know, relates to your Mersona. So some people start with the Mersona and the name comes, la comes later. So mine changed. But... You know, maybe you find yourself a mermaid whose mermaid tail only happens when there's a full moon and maybe you're mermaid Celeste or mermaid Serenity based off of the Sailor Moon Princess. You know, thinking about things that you enjoy and making those part of your persona can really, really help you when coming up with ideas and you feel like you're stuck. So really, you can always workshop those things, ask other people. There's tons of Facebook groups where you can meet a whole bunch of MERS, including, like I said, the MER network, where you can kind of workshop that with other people and ask questions. Like I said, it might change over time. So give yourself some patience and know that you do not need to have this really in-depth backstory to your mermaid to have a mermaid. You can just be who you are and that can be it. It's not a big deal. It's your mermaid and you can be whatever mermaid you want to be. So with that, I hope that you guys found that really helpful. If you did like this video, liked hearing my story, liked hearing how everything has progressed, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not already because you can find other content like this as well as some more funny videos, unboxings, swimmings, etc. It's 2021. We still have tons of time to have different videos. So please subscribe if you're not already. In the description below, you can also find my social medias if you want to go ahead and follow me there to find other types of mermaiding journeys that you might not get here on YouTube. Please go ahead and comment down below. What's your mersona? Like I said, if you are also a pro reptile mermaid, let me know. But tell me a little bit about your mermaid name. I love all you beautiful mermaids and merfolks, and I'll swim with you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!